Hi, this is Congressman Charles Rangel. I'm here to announce that the House of Representatives has moved one step closer to providing affordable health care for all Americans. This past Saturday, we passed the Affordable Health Care for Americans Act, a historic bill that would offer all Americans choice and competition. And we put patients first. Getting to this point has not been easy. There have been those who would like to see us fail. Insurance companies and special interests driven by profits have worked tirelessly to stop us from doing the right thing. But you, the American people, have spoken. And the Democrats in Congress have listened. I've heard your personal horror stories, stories of insurance companies refusing to care for patients because of pre-existing conditions. Stories of families going bankrupt from the staggering cost of health care. Stories of patients struggling to make ends meet and trying to provide a brighter future for their children than they had for themselves. You shouldn't have to worry about losing coverage when you change your job uh, out of work or your company goes out of business. America's new health care system will work to solve these problems. Under the House bill, insurance companies will no longer be able to deny you coverage based on pre-existing conditions. You will choose your own plan, your own doctor, and we will make certain that everyone pays for coverage on a sliding scale basis based on your family's income. And that will mean that everyone will receive a comprehensive set of benefits. In America, affordable health care should be a right, not a privilege. Our bill covers 96% of Americans, putting affordable coverage within reach of millions of uninsured and underinsured families. The Affordable Health Care for America Act improves on what works today by offering public health insurance options that will improve competition and give individuals and small businesses a choice in choosing their own health benefits. No one would be forced into the public option. It would only be one of the many choices in a health care insurance choice. And it's offering a choice of benefits that the bill will ensure that those of you who like your current health care plan will be able to keep it. And the same goes for your doctor. You can keep the great doctors you have. This bill is about choice, clear and simple. Now, some of you may be worried about how health insurance reform would affect small businesses. Our plan allows for employees of small businesses who do not offer insurance to enter the health insurance exchange, taking advantage of lower rates currently offered only to large groups and firms. For small businesses that do not offer insurance, our plan will provide tax credits to help offset the cost of health benefits. Our plan will also protect and strengthen Medicare. For seniors, you will improve your benefits, providing better primary care, free preventive care, and lower drug costs by closing the so-called donut hole. The Affordable Health Care for America Act is fiscally sound, and our bill does not add one dime to the deficit. As chairman of the Ways and Means Committee, it's been an honor to be a part of this historic process of unprecedented cooperation between the three House committees with jurisdiction over health care. In nearly 40 years of public service, I can say that the level of coordination between the committees and the House leadership has been extraordinary. We are motivated by the urgency of the situation. We know that the health care system in our country is broken, that each day more and more Americans are finding themselves losing coverage and that families and businesses are dependent on us to act. I look forward to working with President Obama and our Senate colleagues in the weeks ahead. We are moving forward step by step, and at the end of the day, health reform will be strengthened and this great nation providing affordable coverage to all Americans, increasing competition, and rebuilding our economy.